The earlier simulation was that of an MD1, which means that the packet sizes were fixed. Now, if you want to create a true MM1 simulation, uh, we need to be able to create a um, simulation in which the packet sizes are also exponentially distributed. Uh, this can be done by using the traffic gen application rather than the VBR application, which is what we've done uh, over here. Um, and in the traffic gen application, you can specify um, all the properties of the traffic, which includes um, the duration along with the uh, simulation time, the traffic type um, in which you can specify that the data size is going to be exponential with an average of let's say 512 bytes and you can also specify the inter arrival time of these packets in this case we have made that as exponential as well with a 41 millisecond mean inter arrival time and um, after you do the simulation and you repeat it sufficient times enough uh, what you see is uh, a fairly accurate uh, result of the MM1 as compared to the MD1 uh, the MM1 uh, simulation uh, mean waiting time is is twice that of the MD1 and here is a log plot uh, logarithmic plot which shows uh, the uh, fair accuracy between the simulation and the theory between the MM1 um, as well as the earlier MD1 and the following uh, graph over here shows the uh, comparison between the M M1 results of delay mean waiting time and the MD1 um, which was earlier done and you can see that uh, the results are reasonably accurate.